hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video and welcome to the 2020 mercedes gle 350 suv let me give you guys a little update i took the sl63 amg n4 service today and this is the loaner mercedes gave me so i figured hey why not show this GLE to you guys and get your thoughts on it now again it's not my cup of tea but you never know it may be someone out there looking for a new SUV and once I show you guys the window sticker you'll see it's a pretty price wise it's pretty friendly so let's dive into it let me walk you guys around this thing now I'm on my iPhone XR again today um, so forgive me if the audio is not very good and forgive me if the video quality is not that good as well but again guys I'd rather give you guys some content uh, and not give you content by not having my MacBook Pro up and running so I can't do my normal editing with my normal camera that I normally use to shoot my videos but nevertheless I'm going to show you all this GLE anyways, and uh, you guys let me know what you think. So first of all, let's do a quick exterior. And also, it's a little bit windy, so forgive me if you hear a little bit of wind noise as well, guys. So there's the rear end of it. And uh, it looks like it has a little bit of a facelift from the previous gen GLE. But uh, I think it looks nice. I would really like these little guys right here. I'm sure that's an option that you pay for, but really nice. Nice little touch. And let's take a little peek at the front of it here. So not bad, man. I, I love the front end of it. Real nice looking grill. This part right here, I'm not so sure about the chrome bits right here, but you know, most people aren't a fanatic like me as it relates to having my cars a particular color and the trim a particular color. Most people just go with what they get and are okay with it. So that's a quick look around the GLE. Let me hop in it because I want to show you guys the interior here. Now, this one right here is not a highly spec GLE. It's probably one of the baseline models with a few little bells and whistles but it doesn't have the full leather here. This is plastic. And I don't believe these seats are uh, leather either. Some other type of material, but they're nice to the touch. So nevertheless, it's, it's, it's comfortable. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. Let me turn it on here. Turn down this music, no, no copyright strikes. But look at this screen, guys. So now this is the new updated wide screen that Mercedes has filtered down from their special cars to their everyday SUV. Man, this thing is awesome. Got the trackpad right here so you can move around. Let me show you how that works. So there's your trackpad. See how that st strolls through? Real nice. Now guys, I'm not a car reviewer. I just thought I had the new GLE. Why not show it to you guys? Get your feedback, get your opinion on it. Um, so please uh, be kind in the comments. Uh, I'm just showing you guys a loaner that I've had for today. So this right here, you got a little bit of a track pad right here as well. You can control some stuff here. On this side of the wheel, you can do the volume and the phone and some stuff there. Real nice wheel. The wheel is pretty good. Can't beat that. Got some eh, nice to the touch. I'm not sure if it's aluminum. It looks to be aluminum, but it's nice to the touch. These are your AC vents. Right here, you have another row that kind of controls everything. Now this is a touch, so let me show you. Let me just see if I can work this. See, it is a touch screen too, so it's real nice, man. I mean, that is awesome. And when you look at the price, you're gonna say, man, you get all this for that price? What a bargain. And then obviously you got your your gauges right here for the driver. Um, you got some uh, some type of finish right here with a little lacquer over it. 
Not bad though. I believe you got a Burmeister stereo in here too. So that's a nice little upgrade. Got a little bit of storage here. As you can see, got a little storage. I got some of my, my junk in there, so just disregard that. Right here, you got your cup holders. And I believe this little guy right here is for the cell phone where you can charge that. But you also got this little guy here, you can close it up. Nice little shiny finish there. So not bad, not bad. There you go. Not bad, man, on the interior of this thing at all. So here's your top right here. Got a little bit of a, a sunroof deal going on here. So that's kind of cool. Look at that. Now it ain't, it's not a panty, a panoramic view, but it's still pretty nice. So let's close that back up. And uh, yeah, so that's your uh, interior. Now again, keep in mind guys, this is not the, this is not the, the, the top of the, the top of the food chain as it relates to the GLE, but it is uh, a base model that I mm -hmm. thought is, is pretty cool. So let's move on. Let me show you guys also the key. Here's the key. And uh, I think it's a nice key, shoot. Better than the SL63 key. Now my SL63 is a 2013, so I got the old model key, but uh, nice key. So let's take a peek at the back here, show you guys some of this uh, space in here. Really like that little guy right there. That's kind of cool. Mercedes-Benz logo. And here you go. I apologize guys if it's a little bit dark. Um, it's about seven o'clock here where I live and uh, it's getting a little bit, I'm losing the light, but I did want to give you guys this. So five adults can get back here comfortable, no problem, plenty of leg room. Again, since this is not the, the top model, top spec model, you don't have any AC controls back here. Um, so let's get on out of there because it is a little dark in there and I don't want the video quality to be worse than what it already is. So let me, let me hit you guys with this. This is a nice little feature. Boom, automatic lift gate. That's kind of cool. And as you can see, you got all kind of storage back here, man. This thing is, and obviously these seats here fold down, but you got a lot of storage. So you can st store a lot of stuff and then you pop it back down automatic. I think that's cool, man. Got a little tow hitch back here. I believe that's a tow hitch. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know much about towing things, but it, it appears to be a tow hitch. That's what it looks like to me. And again, you got this, this chrome bit right here, which is uh, same as what you got in the front. Let me tell you something. This backup camera on this thing is amazing. If I got a second before I end the video, I'm gonna show you guys this backup camera because it is amazing. Here's your wheel set up. Me personally, I'd get me a new pair of 22 inch wheels and tires and uh, really, really make this thing uh, pop. So let me go ahead and get you guys back in here. I want to show you guys this this window sticker and it's getting a little dark. So I apologize and it's windy. So but let's take a peek at it if we can get some light in here. So there you go. There are your performance numbers right there. 2.0 liter inline four turbo engine. 255 horsepower 273 pound foot of torque nine speed automatic transmission pretty nice here's your comfort package on this particular model and then here is your suggested retail price up top 53 grand man and then with all the bells and whistles it has on it you got a sixty thousand dollar sticker guys you can't beat that man for everything i just showed you how can you beat that i mean there's your gas numbers right there gas mileage numbers estimated cost of fuel for the year not bad let me tell you something i've been driving this thing and it has a nice little kick to it those turbos man they kick in you get a nice little bump so that's it man there's your 2020 mercedes gle 350 suv man let me give you boys a quick look at the supercars 2015 Ferrari 458, 2019 Porsche 911 GT3. Just in case I got people that are new to the channel and haven't seen the cars, 
This is uh, the supercars I have and my daily driver, which is a 2013 Mercedes SL 63 AMG is in for service. And they gave me this guy to hang out with for a day so that I could get around and do the things I needed to do. And uh, I must say, man, it ain't bad. Now, if it was me, I would certainly go for the AMG variant of this GLE, which is pretty sick. And instead of going for the sedan version like this, I would go with the coupe version of the GLE with the AMG 63 package on it. And telling you, man, that thing's a monster. Uh, so, but this one is cool too. And uh, so that's it guys. I just wanted to get, oh, let me show you guys this backup camera really quick. And then we're gonna be winding up this thing. Let me show you this backup camera. So let's turn this on again. Let me close the door, turn down this music, and let's put it in reverse. Look at that backup camera, guys. Look at that. That is madness. Isn't that sick? Yeah, so really, 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 really good backup camera, in my opinion. I don't think you can beat that. Let's turn off this music. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to get on out of here. I said this was going to be a quick video and let me get ready to end it up. Well, all right, guys, I'm losing light quickly. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. As always, you know, guys, I, I, I do appreciate you guys taking some time out and watching the video. Again, I know it's not related to fin financing and, and, and making money and how to afford supercars and all that things, but I thought I'd, it, there may be somebody out there looking for a, a reasonably priced brand new uh, SUV. You got a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty from Mercedes. So guys, uh, for 60 grand and all of this really nice electronics you get. So, okay guys, if you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video and give me a thumbs up. It helps the channel and it helps me as well. And as always, guys, keep chasing greatness. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace.